Heading off early. Morning, Sandy. Morning, Matt. Someone said to me last night where I was at, they said, oh, but do you have any lights on your bike? I said, uh, let me count. <laughs> yes, I've got lights. Good look. Yes, early, Matt. Going to take my boss to the airport. And also thought I'd go Packenden Street maybe. Look how much less traffic there is. Morning, Sandy. <sighs> Gonna go Kilgore Street. Kilgore Street has a little bit of cycling infrastructure. I like to use cycling infrastructure where it's where possible, contrary to what some people think about cyclists, we, we do like using cycling infrastructure when it's there and when it's appropriate. Trouble is often it's not, often it's terrible, it's poorly planned, it's designed by people who don't ride bikes, it's poorly maintained, that's a big thing. We agreed, uh, we agreed nine o'clock, Sam. <laughs> anyway, it'll be fine, I'll get there plenty of time. Um, I think I was telling the story the other day about Perth when I was there, and Perth's got great dedicated bike lanes, uh, but just really poorly, well, poorly, okay, probably poorly designed it in parts, but they're just too narrow, and they have, you know, speed, um, traffic furniture in order to slow you down. Morning. A bit warmer today. Uh, to slow you down, and then the problem with the width of it is that you can't get a street sweeper in there to clean it and it ends up just being you know completely unrideable <laughs> yes Matt that's right and wallet phone all the normal fix right home in the oh we had a we had a function last night not really a function, it was a seminar, toilet training seminar conducted by, well sponsored by us, by Connie and conducted by the good people of Continents Geelong Private Clinic. A bit windy this morning. Um, I'm glad Matt. <laughs> And uh, so I rode there, parked the bike in the back of the room, and one of the, the t 
attendees, actually one of the presenters was asking me about it all. She said, what if it gets wet? So there's wet clothes in there. It's a wet pair of shoes as well. I think she was genuinely surprised that, no, I don't think she'd ever actually met someone who commutes all the time. But, uh, you know, it's from August last year to now, I think I mentioned the other day, that really I think I've probably not ridden Oh, look, it'd, it'd be a handful of times, but only a very small handful. And they were generally because maybe going to the airport. In fact, I tried to ride, I, I wanted to ride to Jetstar, to Avalon. Uh, and I, I wanted to ask them, but they didn't have any information on the website about parking bicycles and when I was there the other day I'm going to have a closer look uh, this morning because I would I would love to do it I know at the train stations now they have that uh, Paul Freeman will know uh, what's it what's it called what's that that new brand at the of bikes uh, bike lock-up stations at the, sta uh, the train stations. Big cages. Anyway, I saw that the other day at the South Long Station. I thought, well, that's fantastic. Put that in an airport. No, it's not really cold, Angie. It's actually quite, it's, it's actually okay. It's, I just said to the, one of the traffic crossing people, that it's a bit warmer this morning, passing on the left. Parketeer, that's right, good work, Paul. Clever name too, Parketeer, park it here. Very clever name. It's clever, it's very clever. Yeah, so if they had one of them at, at airports, surely there's, surely there's people that, um, might go here. Surely there is people who want to ride to work, who work at the airport. Yeah, there always is, Paul. Um, it, uh, well, there's two delays. <laughs> <laughs> one is the uh, Facebook induced delay. The other one is the delay of me actually looking at the screen occasionally. <laughs> now, contrary to popular belief, I don't just look there the whole time. Uh, East Geelong football ground in front of me. One Jessica Douglas used to play football there in what is still and what was then the VWFL, which has been around long before the AFLW. houses in this part of South Geelong now. A nice mixture of some old and some new. And as you'll see, yay! A nice quite wide bike path. Wide enough that I can stay far enough away from the doors. I can stay, that's a wide enough lane over here, which means if I have to drift a little bit, the cars aren't necessarily, I'm not necessarily at their door. Try and get the 
cars a bit of room there without them squashing me. This is Kilgore Street. Kilgore. I like Kilgore Street because there's only one set of lights on Kilgore Street, so it basically runs parallel to McKillop Street, which is a major thoroughfare in Geelong. Uh, but just a lot nicer to ride on because there's no traffic lights. Uh, I'm not sure, Sandy. Uh, also, Paul, it may be, I don't know, but may maybe it's the fact that maybe you started the video just a smidge later. Would that possibly be the reason? Actually, I'm going to go up here. Sorry. As you can see, a nice big lane here. It's great. And a financial year sale happening at the moment on connie.com.au. Huge savings to be had. Orders coming in. Will I go this way or that way? Quick, this way. I was expecting you to tell me, Matt. Wouldn't expect anything else, Paul. Where's my Saskia? It's long footy ground over there. Much busier road, this one to ride my bicycle on. Whenever I ride on busier roads, I, I like to keep the speed as high as I can. Wait, well, if I do get hit, or clipped, or nudged, <laughs> it's at a lower relative speed. I know that would sound horrendous to people who have never ridden on the road before. The thought of kind of expecting to be hit, clipped, nudged. Hasn't happened for a long time, so I'd say it can't happen. I mean, I need to get a, get a giddy up going on. And then above 26K an hour, this bike's quite heavy. But I'm not gonna go on this big road. I've told everyone about this big road. It's dangerous, I'm going to slip down here. Yee. That's better. The Trobe Terrace is definitely not a road that I would uh, ever enjoy riding on. How do you mean which, Matt? There's eight ratios. With the Shimano motor, I find that uh, if you let the cadence get too low in a heavier gear, it doesn't respond too good. Uh, higher cadence in a heavier, well, higher cadence, the motor responds perfectly. So, maybe that answers your question. 
but I often use quite light gears unless I'm just puttering, uh, cruising along. So now I'm going just about the heaviest gear and uh, very, very low cadence. <laughs> Try and keep my heart rate down so I don't sweat too much. Alphine uh, internal hub gears has eight ratios. No, uh, only one front front ring being belt belt drive. Belt drive. That's why I don't have to wear a uh, pants pants clip or pants strap or whatever you want to call it. Or worry about my pants getting in the chain or getting greasy. You do get a little bit of dirt on the belt. A little bit of. I imagine it's kind of a. Uh, uh, carbon slash rubber sort of residue. What's going on here? Just be careful of this guy. Thank you. Wasn't sure whether he was going to come out. Yes, maybe so, Jessica Douglas. Maybe so. There's no question that. Uh, yeah, you're, you're absolutely right, Jess. It's. Um, you know, my old way of climbing was low cadence all the time, all the time. Um, on this, with the Shimano motor, and I say that because I'm led to believe the Bosch doesn't perform quite like that. Uh, I'm not saying the Bosch is better, it's just different. I think the torque output of the Shimano is a bit, maybe not quite as good, maybe? Um, or not quite as powerful. So yes, I do find, particularly climbing, Jess, I use a much easier gear than what I would on a, um, what do we call them? A normally aspirated analog bike. <laughs> so this is packing the street, packing the street's lovely. Lovely part of Geelong. Jess and I used to live just down there, once upon a time. Um, quite the cosmopolitan part of Geelong. Louis! The great Louis! Ladies and gentlemen, winner of Tour Divide, Louis Siddall. Nice to have you aboard, Louis. I feel rather intimidated now. It'd be like if Harley Denham came and watched me cycle on a commuter bike. Now that would be intimidating. <sighs> I wonder whether Billy Joe Shearsby is at work yet. I wonder if you can tag someone in a Facebook post by by voice. Someone someone tag Billy Joe, will they? Please? Because I'm probably two minutes away from his shop. If he's there, he can pop his head out. post one of these videos to um, Vic Rhodes Facebook page maybe later or someone tag them in this because uh, there's, there's a lot of people commenting on how cyclists never use bike lanes oh, Mr. Sam Moffat sir
<laughs> we'll go slowly, see if he's there. Doesn't look like there's any lights on. No, it's too early. No one there. Sorry, what is it about Commodore drivers? Um, please forgive me if anyone's a Commodore driver. Uh, in fact, I know someone who's definitely not that, who's a Commodore driver, but it seems like so often. We Make the lights. Thank you. Uh, so often, that, that car just spun its wheels for no. Morning, Les. Les, are we going to camera house reunion or did she do I think I remember you saying you couldn't make it because I saw uh, the great man Mark Strawn at the airport the other day and he said that he was gonna gonna go I remember when Les Varga was one of the hottest wedding photographers in Geelong at one point. Gee, how times have changed, mate. Now you're one of the best handyman builders in Sydney, aren't you? Too, Jess. I've got a few friends who ride big motorbikes and both of them, I think both of them, have very loud exhausts. I can't call it a muffler because it's kind of an oxymoron. A loud muffler? I, I think there's no muffle in that. It's all just exhaust. It's like just a big hole straight to the pistons. That's a purpose of a muffler, I would have thought, is to muffle the sound of the, no of the engine. They're scary at all. In fact, I think the average uh, Harley rider, what do you, change your gears, mate. Uh, I think the average Harley rider is, is quite the opposite because the average scary person probably can't afford a Harley. Or well, the average person that thinks they're scary probably can't afford a Harley. The truly scary people, they just get given the Harleys. For the average Harley rider, that's this old mate with a beard who likes to ride bikes, I suppose. Motorbikes. Uh, but yeah, the noise, I just don't get it. And, and how is it legal? How, how are they not uh, given a fine for noise pollution by the EPA? Yep, stop sign coming up. I've got it locked and loaded, Jess. I'm 
glad the camera's not pointing at me at the moment because I think I've got snot coming out of my nose. <laughs> Just sort of, you know, cold morning snot. Morning Denny Cobb. Finley must be sleeping in, Jess. Saskia's not here. Thank you, mate. It only takes a second to acknowledge politeness, particularly with professional drivers. I have a huge amount of respect for professional drivers, particularly those that have been in the game for a while. I always had this, uh, I won't call it a dream, but I certainly always had a, I don't know, a thing in the back of my head that if ever, for whatever reason, I couldn't continue it down a certain career, I always thought international, sorry, interstate, international driving, interstate truck driving would be okay. I think I'd enjoy it. I love a road trip. Love a road trip. Thank you. Great way to start work. Yeah, well, mate. Can't wait to see you again. Been too long, buddy. Which way can I go next time, Les? Where you haven't seen for a while. If I can do it, I'll do it. I take requests. We'll work for weed. <laughs> Jokes. Jokes. Yeah, it's a great way to start work, riding to work. Uh, I know I've mentioned before that when we lived out in the bush and we worked from home, I used to dream of it. A Chicago stop. Uh, now I call it, I call it Greasy Joe. Well, well, what's a Chicago stop, man? What were you referring to? Because if, if it was that shop back there, we call that Greasy Joe's. Even though it's not called Greasy Joe's, but you know. Go by Chalambra, okay. That's a great idea, Jess. But I think if I'm gonna go by, by a Chalambra, I need to ride the normal bike, which I haven't ridden normal bike yet. Hello. Morning. There go. Good. Down Paco this morning. Down Paco. Yeah, good idea. All right. See you, everyone. <laughs>